hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is nisha and i love fragrances today i wanted to feature this house it's a middle eastern house and i first purchased my first fragrance from them because of Kitra. i knew nothing about this house and Kitra was raving about them so i blindly went one morning i was up early and i blindly ordered glamour because she raved about this fragrance and i ordered glamour and it came to my house now i heard about the fragrance as i said from Kitra. then the brand was kind enough to send me a pr package and i was so impressed and so surprised with the amount of fragrance they sent me like five fragrances i was like wow that was so generous of them thank you so much amir oud if you're watching and ramadan mubarak guys glamour is the first one i purchased from them and let me give you my thoughts on this fragrance so glamour is supposed to be a gourmand uh, yeah, it's a gourmand because it opens up with mandarin. Hold on, let me spray. Let me show you the atomizer. Oh, I didn't even show you. Let me show you a close up of the bottles. This is how the packaging comes. It comes in like the box and it comes out, and this is how the fragrance lined it. Glamour is very pretty. It opens up with citruses. So there's mandarin, orange, almond. There's some fruit. There's uh, orange flower, cedar wood. We have patchouli, cashmere, tonka, and amber. This is a very soft but pretty scent. These fragrances are not punching you in the face. You would think Middle Eastern fragrances, and we know how potent they are. These are very long-lasting, but it doesn't punch you in the face. You get a nice little scent bubble, but that's all it gives with this fragrance anyway. This is very pretty. I wore it twice, I think. And I totally enjoyed the scent profile. Now the packaging and everything is beautiful. So if you want something that smells very feminine, to me this smells feminine, very pretty, this is a good one. And it doesn't punch you in the face. It's not too loud. It's just a beautiful fragrance. So that's glamour. Let's move on to the others. Now the other one is Her Majesty. So when I heard this, I'm like, mm, okay, Her Majesty. So you know this, ooh, you get the oud in this. It smells good. Hold on. I forgot how these uh, work. So in the opening, we have green tea. We have spices. You definitely get the spices. You get the bergamot because there's a nice freshness in the opening. In the mid, we have orange flower. We have oud, tonka bean, and wood. But don't be scared because the oud in this, it's not a heavy oud. It's a little bit of oud. You get the spices. You get the wood, but you get the oud. But it's not a oud to be skanky. It's not punching you in the face. It's a nice, subtle oud. The oud in here, it's almost smooth, if that makes any sense. This smells really nice, but these are more for the winter weather. Even spring, you can wear this spring because it's a little bit chilly as well. But this one smells really opulent. It does smell like, like something that queen would wear. So this one is very beautiful. This one projects more because of that oud and all that. It's much stronger than glamour. Oh, this one is really good. So this one is Her Majesty. Okay. The other one I have is Arabian Oud. Guys, these bottles are very nice, I must say. And the atomizer is very nice as well. It's not cheap at all. And these are very inexpensive. When you go on the wet... Oh, this smells... You definitely get the rose in the opening. And this rose is a more powdery rose. It's not a juicy rose. It's a more powdery rose. Smells like rose water kind of rose you know how rose water the rose smells like that you get the saffron there's some jasmine i don't get jasmine i just get rose very prominent rose in the mid we have cashmere wood patchouli wood in the base we have vanilla oud and amber so this has some oud in it as well so this is more of your typical rose oud combination but again don't be scared because the oud is not a heavy oud. The oud is very subtle, but it gives this fragrance depth. Yeah, this one is very pretty. So this one is that rose oud combination with the rose being a very powdery rose. More like rose water kind of oud vibes. This is very Middle Eastern, this one. So yeah, so this one is Arabian rose. Ooh, this smells good though. So the next one I have is Secret Love. This one has rose, saffron, spices, Oud, vanilla, jasmine, cashmere wood, patchouli, leather, wood, and amber. A lot of these have similar notes, but the way they're blended, they smell totally different. Oh, yes, I can smell this. This one is a more subtle one. 
You smell the rose, but it's not as prominent as the rose in the other one. Saffron, spices. Now this one is a more softer scent profile. It's woody. You smell the florals. You get the patchouli. A little bit ambery, but it's not a heavy fragrance. It's a more well-blended, fluffy fragrance. This is more on the softer side. When I say softer, not really soft, but softer than the other two that I spoke about. So this one is really nice too. So this one is Secret Love. Again, with that rose saffron and that Middle Eastern vibe with the woods and the amber. So yeah, this one is nice. And again, I will repeat this. These fragrances say they have oud in them, but it's not the type of oud that is very skanky or it's very potent that might be off-putting. It's blended nicely with that oud. So don't be scared of it that it says oud. The next fragrance that I absolutely love, and I think I'm going to rock this a lot in the spring summer, and this one has a clear bottle. It's a different packaging. And this one is called Amira. Amira is such a beautiful spring summer scent. Amira. Ooh, this one is so bright and citrusy. You get that. Mm. Oh my God, this is beautiful. I think in all of them, the others are nice for the winter time, but this one is one of my favorites. You get white rose. You get the jasmine but the mandarin orange so all those are blended nicely to the top you definitely get that sharp citrusy not sharp but it's nice mandarin citrusness and then there's some ylang ylang then there's some orange blossom tuberose and they said in the base there's transparent musk i don't know what transparent musk is but it's probably a softer not skanky kind of musk probably it's like that this one is so pretty it's so fresh it's so bright it's effervescent this one is perfect for the springtime i think this would be a good springtime scent and i will be rocking it then these others i'll have to save them for next winter or maybe like they, we still have some cold days in spring so these are really nice but amira is one of my favorite this other one that i have is called oud sultan sultana not sultan sultana oud sultana this one is really potent it smells really good this has a nice the amber in this is so sweet and delicious it reminds me of the amber in one of these um, ambers that I have here. Oh my God, it's so good. Guys. Mm. Wow. This one opens up with oud, but again, the oud is not like this heavy oud. It has a coffee note. It has taif rose. It has spices, jasmine, tuberose, wood, amber, tonka bean, floral notes. It has patchouli and moss. This one is such a beautiful one. I really enjoy this one and oh my god I still have time to wear this because it's still a bit chilly here but this one is a powerhouse and the amber as I said with that coffee note this is spectacular so Oud Sultan is very gorgeous totally unisex if you don't like unisex fragrance leaning a little more masculine you may not like this but try it first because they do sell samples as well but I really really enjoy this one this one is a stunner so this is Oud Sultana beautiful fragrance i got a sample of that one touch me i really like that and i heard Keitra rave about the musk i wish the musk one is in here but i don't have the musk one but the musk sounds absolutely beautiful so i really want to get that one in my collection there's so much more here that i saw that caught my eyes there's one with frankincense and all that so i'm like mm. so they have a lot to choose from and guys these are very inexpensive i bought them and they were shipped to canada so they do ship here as well and yeah, you just pay, I think you pay, yeah, I did pay for shipping and it wasn't that bad. These are 100 ml and they also sell other things. They sell oils, they sell bakuras, like the full Middle Eastern vibes. You get it from the store. I'll leave the information in the description. This was not a sponsored video. They didn't ask me to say anything. They were just kind enough. As I said, my first purchase was Glamour. I did purchase from this house, so I was curious. And then they were kind enough to send me all these goodies. So I'm so thankful. They didn't sponsor me. They didn't ask me to say nothing. But I felt like I needed to come to you for you guys to see and to showcase this brand. Because it's absolutely gorgeous. And you need to give them a shot. They sell samples as well. So I'll leave the website link below. And yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. And I will be rocking this. You'll be seeing these popping up in my videos. And until next video. Be safe. Be kind. And smell fabulous. Bye now.